The Legitimate Limits to Freedom of Expression, The Three-Part Test. Freedom of expression is a fundamental right, enshrined in Article 19 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive, and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. This right is also an enabling right, ensuring openness, transparency, and accountability in democratic societies. However, freedom of expression is not an absolute right and may be lawfully restricted in specific and limited conditions. Under international human rights law, and specifically Article 19 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, or ICCPR, the three-part test determines whether a restriction on freedom of expression is legitimate. Any restriction on freedom of expression must thus be provided for by law, pursue a legitimate aim, and be necessary for a legitimate purpose. Part 1. Restrictions must be provided for by law. A restriction to freedom of expression should be provided for by a prior existing law or binding norm adopted by competent authorities and which is formulated with sufficient precision to enable citizens to regulate their conduct accordingly. The law or norm must therefore be clear, publicly accessible, and easily understood by everyone. Otherwise, it would risk having a chilling effect on free speech by broadening the scope of permissible restrictions. Part 2. Restrictions must pursue a legitimate aim. Article 19, paragraph 3 of the ICCPR details four essential grounds for restrictions. 1. Respect of the rights or reputations of others. 2. The protection of public health. 3. The protection of national security or of public order, and four, the protection of morals. These grounds for restrictions must be narrowly framed in order to ensure compliance with international law provisions. Part three, restrictions must be necessary for the protection or promotion of a legitimate purpose. Restrictions should be effective, proportionate, and the least restrictive possible to achieve the legitimate end pursued. However, this criteria of necessity and proportionality is often the most complex according to international standards. Courts and other public authorities should thus consider the context in which the restriction is applied. For instance, a restriction in favor of national security might be justifiable in times of war, but not in times of peace. The three-part test sets a high standard to justify and clearly express the legitimacy of a restriction to the fundamental right to freedom of expression. In our rapidly changing digital environment, it is all the more important to reinforce the rule of law and the application of the three-part test to guarantee every citizen's right to freedom of expression and access to information. To engage and know more, visit our website and learn about UNESCO's work.